For over a decade, hundreds of engineers and Airbus management made thousands of decisions regarding the development of what would become the world's largest passenger plane. One of those decisions was what the aircraft should be called, something that we'll take a look at in today's video. When Airbus first thought up the idea of building the Super Jumbo, they called the project the Ultra High Capacity Aircraft, or UHCA. The project aimed to remove Boeing's monopoly in the large capacity market by building a plane to rival the 747. Creating a large capacity double-decker aircraft seemed like a good idea at the time, especially with the expectation that future passenger numbers would continue to increase. Airbus engineer and the man behind the A330 and A340, Jean Rudet, came up with an ultra-wide plane with two A340 fuselages side-by-side side, rather than a double-decker. He called this the Horizontal Double Bubble, or HDB, and while it progressed no further, it was the first A380 concept. Deciding that more heads were better than one, Airbus asked all of its subsidiaries to develop a design, hoping they could take something from each and incorporate it into the new plane. A couple of the early designs were called the DASA A2000 and the BAE AC14. In 1993, German DASA, British BAE and French Aerospatiale got together and went with the Airbus tradition of naming the plane with the prefix of A3. Looking at a list of planes, Airbus had already manufactured the A300, A310, A320, A330 and A340. Going sequentially, the logical answer would be to name the Super Jumbo the A350. However, Airbus kept the name quiet, not wanting to reveal its intentions, only referring to the plane as the A3YY. The Y got changed to an X for one reason or another, and had Airbus call in the plane the A3XX. By 1994, the double-decker concept had taken hold with two variants. 500-seat A3XX100 and the 600-seat A3XX200. With the design stage now near completion and talks with potential customers set to begin, Airbus added a long-range variant to the lineup called the A3XX100R. It was later joined by a smaller version called the A3XX50, as well as a freighter called the A3XX100E, and later renamed the A3XX100F. In 1997, the Asian financial crisis caused airlines to think twice about the Super Jumbo, particularly as Airbus struggled to deliver the fuel efficiency airlines were looking for. Had the program not slowed down, there is a good chance that the A380 could well have been called the A350. By 2000, it was beginning to look like the program would be cancelled, but Airbus decided to push ahead and rebrand the plane as the A380. There are contradictions as to why Airbus jumped from the A340 to the A380. The most logical guess is that the skipped numbers could be assigned to aircraft larger than the A340, but smaller than the A380. Others allege that the use of 8 was to appeal to the Asian markets, where the number was considered particularly lucky. The truth, according to some, however, is that the number 8 would represent the aircraft's two decks stacked one upon the other. Did you know about the A380's naming history? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.